Hey, what's up guys? Shark King Nano 32. Uh today I have a drawing tutorial video for you guys, but first uh what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the equipment that I use and uh the paper that I use and what I think is best and pretty much anything that you're going to use with art uh drawing wise. Uh anything really works. Like it can be, you know, construction paper, composition notebook paper, you know, computer paper or whatever. But typically, I just get, you know, a simple, cheap sketchbook. I don't get anything too crazy. Uh, it's just something simple and easy to use. Uh, the pens that I use, I use uh, Sharpies 0 0.5 pens. There, that's what the ball looks like. With this, with this pen, I what I really do is that I'll, um, is that I'll uh, outline over the pencil. And the reason why I went over the pencils is because they look very similar, but the Sharpie is just a little bit darker than the pencil. So, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So, uh, typically I'll have two of these with me. I'll have one in my pocket or I'll have one in the rings of the, of the, uh, of the book. And, uh, another, and the pen that I typically start with my sketches is the Ultra Fine 0.5. Promarks pen. This one's just like the Sharpie pen, except it's red. So, and what I use this is that, you know, I'll just use, you know, if I'm going to make like a, a little uh, drawing book or if I'm going to make like a little comic book or whatever, I'll use that and then I'll go over it with the, these pens I'm about to show you, which is uh, this one is a 0 0.5 as well. This is a, uh, a precision ink pen. Uh, this is one of my favorite pens to use as you see it's real wide and the tip of it is it's real pointy so and i like using that pen a lot because it's it it's not like real it's not real small it it has a, a nice smooth um drawing feeling it's not you know it's not real crazy so uh it, and it, it doesn't re get real messy whenever you draw with it but this pen that I'm about to show you, it gets a little messy sometimes. It just depends on what you're drawing. But this is the R2 uh, Roll Ball ink pen. This is my the pen I use the most. It's very similar to the Precision ink, as you can see. And I like this pen, and this is the, probably the pen I use the most, as you can as with all of my other drawings. I'll show you uh, all those and all these at the end. I'll just show you probably from right here over so uh right now uh like i said i'm, I'm just going to show you the different what each pen looks like and the different shading that i prefer to use so <clears throat> this is r2 shading which is this pen right here and then down below is precision which is this one and then right here we got the ultra fine which is the red ink pen right here and then above it is pencil which is you know just standard pencil you don't have to use any mechanical and then above that is the sharpie pen right here so <clears throat> that's basically what all the pen look like and as you can see with the pencil and the sharpie right there they look very similar looks like the pencil is a little lighter so i use the sharpie to go over like i said earlier and uh my favorite shading is cross shading as you can kind of see it's goes from from light and then a little darker and then darker and then really dark and then this is like cross shading as well but it's it's kind of angled and it, I don't really like doing that kind of shading my favorite kind of shading you know like I said it's cross shading and this is you know it's just just regular shading it's just scribbles and I don't like that it, like you can go from lighter you know to darker to really dark to super dark to really really dark as you can see and like I said, it's nothing real crazy. It's um, that's really what I like to the, what I like to draw with. So right now, um, I'm just let's see, what can I draw? Uh, I'm gonna think of something to draw, and I'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I figured I'm just gonna make a 3D uh, smiley face. I guess something simple. So um, for a drawing like this. I would typically just go ahead and use my R2 pen. Um, so, 
Let's see. Uh, okay, so I don't really have a, a unique setup here to do this. So, like I said, you can see the paper is blank. So, I'm just going to uh, do uh, just a little, little circle here. And if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, it's probably my heater. And another thing that helps whenever you're doing uh, shapes or circles or anything when drawing, another thing that helps is, as you can see, I'm turning my notebook around. So it makes the circle a little bit more even around the edges. So that's the circle I just made. This is not, it's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's you know, it's a circle. So, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm gonna make some eyes, and and I hold my pins kind of weird. I hold my pins kind of like this, so I'm gonna just draw him some eyes. And uh, with this drawing that I'm doing, you're going to be wondering why one eye is bigger than the other. Reason is, is because he uh, is looking one direction. And so one eye is going to be smaller, so he's looking this way. So whenever like you turn, like one eye is bigger than the other. So um, what I'm doing now is... So, as you can see, it's just something simple. It's nothing crazy. So, uh, that's pretty much what it, it looks like. You know, if you're going to draw something simple, it's not going to look that good starting out. So, the shading is like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in his eyes. And then I'm going to do a little bit of shading around the edges. So, with the cross shading, it's not hard. You just draw... You know, lines, you know, just lines, just one, two, you know, it's kind of just like it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just go, and then you turn the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't see that, but that's what it is. And then you'll just do the same thing on the piece of paper. And then, like I said, it's gonna, it's, it takes a little bit of practice. And usually, whenever you go diagonal the other way, it typically gets a little darker and you know that's perfectly fine it's you know part of the detail of the drawing and since he's looking one one way uh, the like the part that's looking away is the part you're gonna add some of the the darkest shading on and whenever you add the shading it ha it's it's not too you know it, it all just comes together so uh, cuz with uh, the shading is you know it's typically one of the most important parts of drawing and the de other details and everything like that so So this is just a simple tutorial video. This is something you can practice at home and get a little used to it. And so that's the face I just made. And as you can see, it's got cross shading. It's you know it's it's very simple. It's nothing real crazy. And as you can uh, you can see right here. So as you can see, this eye is bigger, and his head's kind of it's kind of tilted that way. It just can't you just can't really tell. So the the darkest shading is going to be right there. And the darker shading is going to be in his eye and on this side of his face. And then as you see, it's a little darker in this eye and it's d uh, darker right here. So if you're going to make someone look like one way, this, like the part that's facing away and it's smaller, you're going to add more shading. So that's you know just a simple technique you can use. And 
you know if you want to add more you can but you know this that's pretty much all you can do so um, let me know what you think of this video guys and um, you know leave a like um, subscribe uh, let me know if you have any ideas for me to draw next and I will talk to you guys later Shark King Native 32 out